Now, last thing here, do I go ahead and get married and have a baby or do I wait for a better person to come along? Firstly, I got to say this for the record. I only suggest having a child with someone you're in a committed relationship with, ideally marriage. Insist, if you're going to be active, physically active dating or in a relationship, insist on using condoms, okay? Insist on using condoms until you are married. Because if you're not and you get pregnant, it is really on you. Now let's move on to the next part. Do you work on what you've got now or wait for a better situation? If you really feel like you deserve more, I would want to know what you feel like you deserve. Not because you don't deserve it or shouldn't have it or someone else out there doesn't have it. Okay, but I would just want to know what it is that you deserve because sometimes someone is saying that they deserve more, but they're actually not the person who deserves more. They just know that there's more out there. But they themselves, you're not the woman who deserves that thing or deserves that kind of experience. And I know that that sounds how it sounds, but, but the, the more that you can like take that kind of question seriously and really reflect and ask for feedback, let's schedule a one-on-one, get on a consult call with me, let's talk about it, let's just be really, really honest. You can feel like you deserve more because you know there's more out there, but the question is, are you the type of person who actually deserves that experience? And similar to what I said sort of at the top of this episode, there is no guarantee that you will get anything that you want. It's your, it's your, prep, it's your pr- preparation to get it that matters and the opportunity that meets you that makes it happen. The, the question is, are, are you the type of person that actually deserves that kind of experience, that actually deserves that kind of man? There's, there's so much I could say about all of these things that I've brought up today, but the last thing I'll say here is this. There is always going to be something, okay? There is, there are, there are going to be things, even when you're in a relationship, that you feel like you that that you are going to have to improve. A honeymoon period is very real, and coming out of that and into reality, you're like it's it's like a disillusionment. It's like oh, this is what I'm this is who I'm really with, and am I making the right decision? And is this really the right person, or have I? hugely misjudged just the, the reality is, is that those are just real questions and real even call them doubts that women can have as long as two people are being honest with each other there are going to be things that come up that cause conflict so a couple important things to consider are like is this person committed to you into sticking with you through that thing because other people that you are with might experience the same kind of behavior or issue with you but they not willing to stick it out with you like that. They don't have the desire to work through it like that, like the person you're with now. And so really getting real with yourself about, has this person really bought in and committed to this relationship? A lot of times you can work with that, and sometimes you can't. So as anticlimactic as this is, until you really get in front of someone like a counselor, a therapist, to, tr- to get eyes on your situation and really talk through, work through what your lived experience is, it, it is very difficult um, to listen to a YouTube video and try to determine if you should stay or go, if you should work it out or if you should get back on the dating apps or hit the streets again. Just because you're asking that question doesn't necessarily mean your current relationship should end, but it probably means that there are some conversations that need to be had with your person. And at the absolute very least, just an evaluation of what your values are and what your goals are, and just doing a basic check on whether this relationship or the relationship that you're in now or trying to develop matches the very bare minimum requirements that you would need to be in a committed long-term relationship.